this is the secret spot only locals know about. And I actually got it from a Valenciano. That's how I know about this place. It is really authentic. And it's fast, 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 fast. It's much better if you come here early. Lots of construction going on everywhere. I like Spanish food, but to tell you the truth, if you like more fried food, you probably enjoy it more. There is a lot of food for beer. A lot of the places are more oriented towards beer, beer drinking. Nothing like the Eastern European, um, Eastern European countries, but still pontillas and uh, patatas bravas. I'm not a huge fan of fried food, so for me it's, uh, it's just okay. I prefer to have a little more diversity and Spaniards are quite traditional. But this little neighborhood markets, oh my God. I love them. This is my favorite place where we get some of our food to go. It really, a lot of things are cheaper than buying groceries. And it's prepared, it's cooked every day. It's fresh, it's so good. They have fish, they have paella, they have meat dishes, they have salads, desserts, everything. So come on in. Hola. It seems like today we're arriving a bit late to everything. The best time to buy from these places is between 10 and 12. Because the food, again, it's cooked every day. They take out all the dishes early in the morning and it's pretty much for lunch. We buy for our lunch and dinner. So like four dishes, normally we spend about 20 euros, sometimes 12. It's pretty good. In many cases, it's much cheaper than groceries and it saves you time because you don't have to cook every time. Poseidon's pretty cute. I've never seen such a small Poseidon that needs to be, you know, big and... It's kind of cute. <laughs> They have a few really good Italian restaurants on this uh, little street. Should we, should we walk in and check it out? Probably celebrities and... So open only for lunch, but it's traditional Spanish place. Good. We discover things every day. And of course, the cheapest thing is to buy from the well-known grocery stores. We're gonna grab a few things and cook at home. Let's your papaya. Should we get one? And all the berries. Usually they have like a bigger amount of blueberries, which I love. But now a lot of seasonal vegetables and fruits. My favorite. Check this out. Only three euro, but the best figs. So good. It is 10.30 at night and we're going out for dinner. That's how the locals do it. So uh, we're gonna have dinner at uh, Saona, which is a big chain, good food, Great prices. I've tried their menu del dia only only daytime, only at lunch. I've never tried it at night, and I am I'm expecting to be good because I, I know overall uh, what they offer. So let's see. I think it's a little further down. A lot of delivery guys. I think we're right on time. So many people, and today it's only Wednesday, and they just told people that did not made a reservation that the the wait is like an hour. So it's, it is basically, it's kind of menu del dia, but it's menu del noche. Monday through Wednesday they have set menu and then for the end of the week it's a little bit different. But it's uh, pretty typical. You start with a few small bites. I had those at lunch, so I know at least these are amazing. Some salad, some Russian salad. This is hummus with aubergine. I've never tried that, that's maybe really good. What do I want for the main course? I'm gonna get the tacos with the tuna tartar. And then, oh, they have vegetable cannelloni. Maybe this. 
pasta, they have chicken. Okay, so that's, that is a new thing. I've never tried this one here on the menu. It's like a zucchini, zucchini pasta. So there is no gluten trying to stay. But what are we complaining about? Today I caught myself again complaining things are not open or things are open really late. Why are we waiting for the food? Why is this? Why is that? And, and I watched a actually a very touching video on Dr. Berg about somebody getting really sick, one of the bad diseases. And it makes me realize, I mean, we, we, we're a complaining machine every day about different things. And things are actually pretty good. So that's very non Spanish. Zucchini noodles with some sauce and burrata on top. Mm. By the way, Langeron is my favorite water, sparkling water. The first time I tried, we were in Marbella and it felt literally like chewing crystals. It was so fresh. It, I can't describe the feeling. It, it was amazing. This is just perfect. It's my favorite by far. Key lime. Just the right amount of sweetness. Well, now, now it's excellent, the weather. It's a little humid though, but it's not bad. This is the secret spot only locals know about. And I actually got it from a Valenciano. That's how I know about this place. So messy. But they have like a kind of like a set menu where you pick a plate and you pick your dishes. You get beer, you get wine, you get coffee. Para mi, sin carne. No, no. Uh, tarta, Spanish tortilla. Tortilla? Sí. No. Not much, it's mostly meat. Okay. Uh, eh, huevos. Huevo con queso, con patatita. Oh, sí, con queso, it's perfect. ¿Qué más? Sin carne. <laughs> it is really authentic. I mean, and it's fast, 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 fast. It's much better if you come here early. Much earlier. The earlier, the better. Because they have so many different things they cook every day. And you can just pick your plate. Sí, es para mí. Gracias. So, not much for me. They give you olives and peanuts and a drink. You can have wine, beer or water. And yeah, whatever you put in the plate. Last time I was here, my Valencian friends brought me. We were charged five euro for the whole plate with everything you pick, plus the drink, plus everything. And then you can order a little coffee and they give you also a small chupito, like a shot of digestive. I think my Valencian friends will be pretty upset that I'm broadcasting this place because they love it here. It is very central. If you come early, you can have one of their specialties, which is calamari uh, bocadillo. Uh, tostada. <laughs> it is really not vegetarian friendly. Let me know if you want me to do a video just about vegetarian, vegan restaurants and places. Let me know in the comments. But if you want to eat authentic Spanish food, these are the places. If you want to find some fish, some calamari, you have to arrive early, as I said. If not, he, they're so fast, so you have to, you know, this, 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 that's how you have to order. He still did a good job. He did, he put eggs and he put some, uh, some cheese on top. So that's not bad, but yeah, definitely not vegetarian friendly. But it's ready. So that was, that was 11 bucks. If we got everything that was available, it could have been much, much better, but we were a little limited on the food. Uh, nonetheless, pretty good. I made a video specifically about eating like a local, but I showed more the menu del dia and other things. So watch my video here to find out more.